Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we have an interesting equation. We have 2 to the power of x minus 2 to the power of y is equal to 496 and we have to solve for x and y. So before you start, maybe try it yourself and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you. So let's get started. So as you can see up here, we have just one equation, but we have a positive value over here with 496. So we're going to say that 496 is greater than zero. Therefore, we can deduct that two to the power of x is greater than two to the power of y. So based on that, we can even go further and we can say that x is greater than y as both numbers have the same, both sides have the same basis but different coefficients. So therefore x is greater than y. If we look at the right hand side, we can also say that x is equal to y plus a new number. So we could say y plus k. So k is a new variable. Or we could look at it in reverse and we can say that y is equal to x minus k. So we have two choices. So we're going to choose the first one as it's most, most straightforward. So we're going to reuse this and input it into the original equation. So now we have 2 to the power of y plus k, replacing x, and also 2 to the power of y, which is the original, is equal to 496. Very good. So we have those conditions and inputted the y plus k. Now let's look a bit closer at the 2 to the power of y plus k. As we can go back to indices and remember that a to the power of n multiplied by a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n plus m. we're going to apply this with the 2. So we can rewrite it as 2 to the power of y multiplied by 2 to the power of k. And now we have the 2 to the power of y still in the equation. Okay, so our next step would be to factor out. So if we focus over here, we can see we have a common factor of 2 to the power of y. So we can say that 2 to the power of y, open your bracket and we can put 2 to the power of k minus 1 into the bracket is equal to 496. Okay. So we're going to switch our attention to the other side now. And we're going to look at this number and we're going to reduce it to a product. So we can say that 496 is equal to 16 multiplied by 31. So we're going to rewrite it like that. So 16 is equal to by 31 is equal to 16 multiplied by 31. Okay. So let's rewrite in the original part, which is factorized. Now we can investigate the composition of the type of number here. So the 16 and the 2 to the power of y both must be even. As anything to the, any 2 with a power will be even. 
and obviously 16 is even. Let's look at the other side and we would have any positive number which is 2 to the power of k that would be positive and if we subtract 1 you know that we're going to get an odd number. All right, and the 31 is definitely odd. So what we're going to do now is compare and equate those odd and even sets. So first of all, 2 to the power of y is equal to 16. And we can say that 2 to the power of y is equal to 2 to the power of 4. And as they have the same basis, we can equate the exponents. And we can say that y is equal to 4. OK, let's go to the odd. First of all, bring over your 1, and we will get 2 to the power of k is equal to 31 plus 1. So 2 to the power of k is equal to 32. And 32, if you use your calculator, remember, it's 2 to the power of 5. So as the bases are the same, we can equate the powers, and we can say that k is equal to 5. Let's recall that x is equal to y plus k and we have y is equal to 4 and k is equal to 5. Now let's substitute in and let's calculate x. So now x is equal to y is 4 plus k 5 and we have x is equal to 9. Therefore, we have our answer, and our answer is 2 to the power of 9 minus 2 to the power of 4 is equal to 496. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please give a thumbs up and also subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching, and see you again on the next video.